All right, good morning, folks. This is uh, Eric from Kansas again. I want to show you what, what this uh, little cabinet, battery backup cabinet here looks like all buttoned up <clears throat> before I powered up. I haven't haven't powered up at all. The BMS on the batteries is still unplugged and the battery monitor is not hooked up. So I'm going to show you what I got here before I do that. So I got the DC disconnect box all wired up. Um, just battery and inverter cables in there, no uh, no solar or anything else, like I mentioned before. So we got the the shunt and the 250 amp, 150 volt breaker. And uh, these are the battery leads in the battery, and these are the leads that go to the uh, inverter. <clears throat> got the uh, battery monitor mounted right here. Not powered up yet, and see what I got inside here. Got the inverter. It's not uh, fastened down yet. I may fasten down with some screws, but you know, not a huge deal to me. In here, um, got the leads hooked up here on the back, but there's no power to them yet. Let's see if I can get some light here. So we got both BMS modules mounted on the back there, and as you can see I used the extra uh, bus bar to attach the battery side of the lead of the, BM of the BMS to the battery, to the name of the battery. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> the hole on that lug that there was attached to the BMS is only a quarter inch, one quarter inch bolt uh, lug. It's the one on the battery is something like a five sixteenths bolt, something like that. So it was too big, so I, uh, that was handy to be able to do that with the extra bus bar. Uh, yeah, here's the BMS lead right here. It's still not connected, so the battery, the BMS is not active. Um, and uh, same thing over here, use the extra bus bar to connect the lead. The only thing I don't like, I may, I may, you can see this negative battery cable here. The connection over here is a little close to the uh, battery side of the BMS. Um, I think when I, when I take this somewhat apart and ship it over to my mom's house, um, I'm going to run this negative battery cable back behind the batteries or the bus bar here but uh i think that's the only change i'm going to make here really and uh make sure that lead back there is not so close to the other one uh let's see here yeah so <clears throat> here's the bus bars positive negative um i've got um Two connections from, from each, one connection from each battery, and then the connection that goes to the DC disconnect uh, on the other side of this uh, panel here. And these cables right here are just four gauge cables, so they're not quite made for 100 amps each. Um, but we'll see how it works. Um, I don't think my mom's going to be using the 2,500 watts from this this guy up here uh, probably in it at all so um, it should it should do the job um, so uh, that's that batteries are all connected together uh, with hose clamps and uh, the these um, things right here are uh, some cardboard um, protection corners that came in in the box that uh, this and Ames inverter charger came in, so that was kind of handy to be able to use those, so I won't, wouldn't uh, you know damage the battery casing. But uh, yeah, that's what I got set up here. Um, got the battery monitor cable run here, and it's not hooked up yet. So let's measure the voltage here and see what we got. So there's no the BMS. Cables, uh, battery sense cables are not hooked up yet, so 
and we've just got you know two and a half volts here sometimes it gets up to higher volts but uh, it goes down pretty quick because there's mostly some small capacitors and the BMS's or something like that holding some charge a little bit but anyway we got uh, less than two volts there so yeah basically uh, no power to there so now I'm going to hook up the uh, BMS cables and we'll see what this does so I'll hook this first one in and I'll hold this uh, right here on the uh, voltage view there and there we go hopefully you saw that 13.32 perfect so now I'm gonna get that one hooked up and I'm gonna hook up the other one all right got the other one hooked up here so both battery BMS are hooked up with be at battery sense cables so they're both at both active we got a good voltage here on the uh, bus bars but Still no voltage on the, let me get these uh, cables off here. Still no voltage on the uh, inverter cables. So let me just do this. Whoops. Okay, so I needed two hands for that. Uh, I just hooked the battery cables or the this voltmeter up to the inverter lead here. You can see instead of inside the box here, the DC disconnect box. But uh, before I flip this big uh, breaker on for the inverter, uh, I'm gonna get this uh, battery monitor hooked up here. So I just hooked up this RJ11 or 12 cable up here. And we'll see this thing pop on. Let's see here. Maybe. Should be voltage to it. All right, folks. So, uh, had a little faux pas there. This is a bit embarrassing, but um, I forgot to hook up the positive or the positive power input to this uh, to the, for the battery monitor. To this, so these Victron battery monitors they have to have obviously have to have some kind of 12 volt power to run. So uh, I thought this cable, this red cable here, was for an extra battery sensing but that's this uh, model does not have that um, whereas the the one that we have in our house does so I thought that's what it was but that's not what it was um, the one we have came with two of these power cables um, but uh, I was thinking it was the other one so anyway this is the power cable for the battery monitor uh, on the positive side so I just hooked it up to this positive lead com coming directly from the bus bar so I uh, didn't have to run it through this hole again that would have been uh, a pain anyway it's got a little uh, fuse in it which is nice here fuse body I'm not sure what amperage or whatever it is but it's in there and <clears throat> it just hooks into a little uh, push button type or uh, connection there which is pretty nice it, it's wire has a little end uh, on it that uh, makes it nice for just putting in this hole here and this orange thing just slides back and it holds it in there with a spring so that's uh, pretty handy so um, uh, well uh, now there should be power for the battery monitor all right let's power up the battery monitor so now it should be power for this so I'm going to plug this in 
and we'll should see this thing power up finally aha battery capacity well, it's asking for the battery capacity okay I have to get this thing set up and then I will uh, power the inverter up and we'll see if it works Four hundred twelve volts. Okay. Okay, so now if I press this setup key, I think it'll go to normal operating mode. Yep. Normal operating mode. Okay, thirteen point three five volts, that's good. Matches our voltmeter pretty good. And uh, manual says by default this will show 100% battery capacity when in reality I'm probably sh pretty sure it's not 100% yet. So we'll have to do some testing here and there and find out. Uh, I probably won't do that until I get installed my mom's house. But anyway, yeah, we got uh, this battery monitor set up for our 12 volt 400 amp battery or an amp hour uh, voltage. That's the amps going in and out of the shunt. There's the watts going in and out of the shunt. And there's the amp hours in and out of the battery. So, I'll set up there. And, and there's lots of other features you can set up on here. Um, the puker effect, I think, you can set up on here and some other things. And I won't bore you with that. But anyway, it's all set up. So now, uh, let's see here. Let's get this inverter charger turned on, hopefully. So, that's our inverter charger voltage. Not much there. Uh, probably just some capacitor holding a little bit of voltage, but it uh, should be at 13.35, and it's not. So, that's because this breaker is not flipped on. So, we're going to flip that on. And hopefully this voltage will go up. Looky there. All right. Let's see here. Okay, so now the inverter charger is not powered up because this switch on here is set in the off position. So now, see we got power on and power save on up top. I'm going to go to the power on. And we'll see what happens here. There's some buzzing there. Let's see, we got uh, inverter power on. That's good. No alarms. Battery charger is off because there's no AC power coming in. And we have inverter mode all right looks like we're in business and our gfci has a green light fantastic all right i'm going to plug something in here and we'll see uh see if it runs all right folks i just noticed this uh video is getting a little long so i'm going to plug in this light uh make sure this thing works and uh, <clears throat> then we will call it a video, and I'll make another video of some other testing going on. Put that in there. Got a little LED light in here. So it shouldn't pull a whole lot. So let's see if it works. No. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Okay, that's why I thought it. The uh, GFCI, uh, you know, reset button right here had to be uh, deactivated or flipped on or something, whatever you call it. That's all it was. So, we got power. 
from the batteries. Awesome. So, uh, hope you liked that. I uh, hope that was informative or uh, uh, interesting to you. Uh, if you have any questions or want me to go over anything else, let me know uh, in the comments. And or if you have any suggestions on uh, the improvements I can make to something like this, let me know. Uh, I'm going to stop it there and do a capacity test with some higher higher loads, but oh, I forgot to see what this is pulling. Okay, so it's pulling 0.4 amps out of the battery. No, no, that's 0.4 amp hours. Thirteen point three volts. Okay, it's pulling three amps. So okay, yeah, it's pulling fifty watts out of the uh, inverter. So the light bulb isn't pulling fifty watts. The inverter is pulling fifty watts, or I mean, quite a bit. And it's powering like a I don't know. I think this light bulb is a um, five or ten watt LED light bulb. Yeah, I'm not sure, but shouldn't be very much. Yeah, the inverter's pulling quite a bit of power just because it's set up such a low load. Okay, um, sorry for that little uh, detour there, but I uh, want to show you what that was pulling. Anyway, uh, I'll make another video here of some higher loads with this system, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Grace and peace be with you.